Canon DL5 has a series of TTL profiles saved to its memory, and you can choose a profile to best suit your camera model. To see which profile suits your camera model, check out the link in the description of this video. Um, and to reprogram the converter is actually quite simple. So what you want to do is you want to have compatible DS strobes hooked up to your DS converter. Now there's no battery installed into this converter because it gets its power from the strobes. If you're using a dual strobe setup and you have the appropriate dual cord, you'll notice that there's a red band on one and not on the other. The red band indicates the secondary strobe and the non-banded cord is your primary strobe. The primary strobe is what provides power back to the converter. So to reprogram the converter and choose the profile, what you're going to want to do is hold down the button on the converter and while holding it down, you want to turn on the strobe. Now what you're going to notice is that it blinks and it's blinking to correspond to the number. Then it goes into red indicating you're going to programming mode. Then it blinks one for program one, two for two, three for three, etc. In this case, we'll go to four and then let go. Now this converter has been programmed to program four and we can check that by turning the strobe off, repeating the process, holding the button down and turning the strobe back on. And you'll notice that it blinks four times. If we continue to hold it, it's gonna go into programming mode. Since we don't want to change the program here, we're gonna leave it at four. Now the nice part about this is you're not changing cameras a lot so you don't need to change programs a lot. Now that that is programmed to four, it's gonna stay that way until you change cameras and wanna choose a different TTL profile.